mercy on the leaves. And in Kali Yuga, many people are like this. You will just kill it one after the other. But you came here without any weapons. You're the mercy incarnation, the Karuna avatar, Kripa avatar. Show your Kripa to these people. Lord Chaitanya only could see that his Nityananda was bleeding on the forehead. The blood was coming in his eyes and he was not ready to pardon. But Lord Nityananda begged again and again and finally Lord Chaitanya said, okay, I will spare Jagai because he stopped Madai. But I cannot spare Madai. Jagai was getting ready. Then Lord Nityananda jumped forward and he clasped the lotus feet of Chaitanya and said, Do it for me. Excuse them on my behalf. Both excuse them. And when Lord Chaitanya saw that Nityananda was begging him by grasping his feet, he called back Sudarshan and Sudarshan disappeared. Mahaprabhu said, <coughs> was still shaking. He said, it's only because of Nityananda. There's a song which says, Kodanitai, Kodanitai, Chaitanya Nityananda delivered all 
those souls who were lowly and wretched, the two sinners, Jaga and Madai, are evidence of this. They are proof. Mm. Mm. However, there is one condition which those of us who want to have Lord Nityananda's path mercy at this time need to fulfill. See, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda, Maha, Nityananda appeared, they just gave Krishna consciousness or love of Godhead without considering offenses. But in the modern time, so in this way they saved Jagai and Madai, but in the modern time, this is 2015, in the modern time, offenses are unfortunately considered. In other words, you don't get the mercy of Goranga Mahaprabhu and Nityanan the Prabhu if you commit aparadas. If you think, well, if I commit aparadas, I will just take a bath in the Ganga and the reactions will go. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, no, those who think like this, they can commit aparadas and then do something clever and intelligent to get free of them. This won't work. He said, the path of the Ganga will turn against those who offend my devotees. Uh, there will be a reaction, in other words. So, the, the mercy of Chaitanya, of Nityananda, comes to those who bow down low. You need to bow down before Nityananda in the modern times to, to get mm, uh, his mercy. There is a very nice verse which you can sing with me. Prema Mata Nityananda Kripa Avatar Prema Mata Nityananda Kripa mercy, Kripa Avatar, an incarnation of mercy, he does not distinguish between the good and the bad. But then the condition comes. So you don't have to be good to get the mercy, but you, you, you can, even if you're bad, but you, one condition is there. Ye age padae tore kura ye nishtara Ate va nishtare la mohena docha It means he delivers all those who fall down before him. Therefore, he has delivered such a sinful and fallen person as me. The speaker here is Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. He makes the point 
He gives the mercy to everyone, but you need to come down. You need to take a humble position. You need to fall down on the ground. And he thinks about his own example. See, Krishna Das Kaviraj lived in Bengal in a joint family. His brother was a great scholar and they had a home temple in their place. Uh, they would have regular Sankirtan festivals and during one Sankirtan festival an amazing devotee of Lord Nityananda came to visit. It was Mirikatama Ramdas. Mirikatan had a very unusual habit. He had a small little whip and he would chant to get an ecstasy. He would sometimes climb on the top of people and then he would start to whip them with a whip. But anyone who was touched by the amazing whip of Vini Katama Ramdas was overwhelmed with love of God. <laughs> <laughs> it was not an ordinary whip, it was a love-giving love whip, a, a prema whip. Um, how to understand it? Don't even try it. <laughs> it's uh, highly unusual. <laughs> Amazing pastimes of Lord Nichiren. Oh, Nichirenanda had devotees you can't believe. They were very, very amazing. Let us approach Lord Nityananda through his devotees. He had one, Paramananda, who would get into kirtans, and he would have kirtans even in Muslim villages. And the kirtans were like Ojashmi's kirtans. He never stopped. <laughs> so, there was one kirtan and it was carrying late into the night and the Muslims thought this is too much and they took a dead fox or a, I think it was a jackal, a dead jackal and they just threw the dead jackal in the midst of the kirtan. Bang! Now this is very inauspicious. Usually one doesn't have contact with dead people or their jackals, yeah? especially not in Kirtan. But the Kirtan of Paramananda was just so powerful that the jackal got life again and started to howl and dance. And uh, all of these atheistic people, they thought, They thought, this is not normal, this is spiritual, this is extraordinary, we, we have no objection to this. It is, uh, it, is, it is safer for us to uh, let it, <laughs> let, let the kirtan go on, no problem. Um, yes, uh, Lord Nityananda and his devotees, they are highly uh, amazing because they have this quality, prema mata, Prema Mata means, Mata means mad with, with love. It's good to be mad with love. Let us say it in socially acceptable terms. It is to be overwhelmed by loving emotions, spiritually loving emotions. And therefore, he does not distinguish. When a person is uh, intoxicated, <laughs> he doesn't. He's not a bear. We had an intoxicating man in our village where I grew up in an island. And when he was drunk and he would distribute to us children 100 mark uh, notes, that was like 50 euros. And he would just give to everyone and anyone until there was nothing left. He was a rich person, a big pop. I was always making sure I was there. <laughs> when he was really drunken. <laughs> so, Lord Nityananda does not distinguish, uh, but he delivers prema to those uh, uh, who are 
even fallen. But again, padayetare means he gives it to those who have fallen down before his lotus feet. My dear devotees, when will you fall down? When you are proud? No, no chance. You will only fall down when you are humble. Uh, once Prabhupada gave a lecture, and I think I taught this maybe at another festival. It was in Seattle. Seattle. Do we say Seattle in English? In uh, 1968, and after he had spoken, one student, an intelligent young man, said, "I feel that as beings we are more or less equal." So I don't feel I have to bow down to anyone. The student had seen that at the end of the kirtan, the devotees had bowed down. And he must have seen also that when Prabhupada came and sat down on his Vyasa son, uh, uh, the, the, the devotees had given their obeisances, and the student felt irritated, <coughs> like maybe you and I have felt when we first came to the temple and we saw a devotee bowing down. I thought, what, what does he do? Does he lick the floor? Or uh, you know, uh, what is going on? I, I, I could not understand. Then I thought, no, he must have lost something and was looking for it. Uh, it was just, you know, I've, I've never seen, you know, you, you, people come together and then boom, they're on the ground. It's, when you are not um, knowing what we do, for, it's highly irritating. Mm -hmm. So this...